New this morning, Mecklenburg County health officials reporting a rising trend with mpox cases. It comes a year and a half after the virus first spiked in the county, and now officials say children could be among those exposed. WCNC Charlotte's Destiny Richards now live for us this morning. And Destiny, cases, we should say, remain low and isolated, but health leaders still want folks to just be aware and take precautions. That's right. Mecklenburg County health officials say there have been 16 confirmed cases of MPOX since January. And while exposures were isolated, it is important to be aware of the symptoms and to act quickly if you have any. Symptoms include fever and or chills, headaches and body aches, swollen lymph nodes, rashes, lesions, sores and exhaustion. The county health department is reporting 10 confirmed cases of MPOX among Mecklenburg County residents in February, up from six in January, and nearly 120 people, including some children, were potentially exposed to the 16 confirmed cases. Mecklenburg County Public Health Director Dr. Raynard Washington says families who were exposed have been notified. They are aware and monitoring, of course, as, as directed. Uh, so no, there's no global worry. And again, we're still talking about a really small number of cases and you know, relatively speaking, a small number of exposures. Uh, but it is more than what we have seen per case on a, uh, in the prior um, outbreak that we had last year. Uh, and so I want to make sure that we're communicating clearly with the public about what the risk is. And, and, and folks are on, on alert and, and cautious. Dr. Washington says MPOX is typically transmitted through close physical contact and sexual contact. Anyone who is high risk can get a vaccine, a free vaccine, that is, at a Mecklenburg County Public Health Clinic. Live in Charlotte, I'm Destiny Richards, WCNC Charlotte. Again, though, those cases remain isolated at this point. All right, Destiny, thank you.